Hey everyone, it's Greg from Rev, and we're checking in again on our prototyping weekend during kickoff for Ultimate Goal. One of the things we talked about during our game breakdown was how important it is to be able to manipulate these wobble goals. Uh, so the nice thing about the rules this year is it allows you to hold one of these before the match starts, meaning that all you have to do is make something that you can latch onto this on your robot and you can let it go during autonomous mode and then there's some other simple ways to, to manipulate this. So originally during the, during the stream I drew this little latch where I figured there'd be a cutout opening with a servo that could hold it back and then kick it out. This is something that anybody could build on the side of the robot. Originally I was thinking we laser cut or 3D print or something but when I got into it I realized that a small piece of a uh, couple brackets and some extrusion and a servo literally does everything that you need to do. So here's kind of the idea that would, this would work on. So you've got the goal, and before the match starts, you just take the goal, put it there. Um, I'm using the edge of this cap as kind of a stop, um, because you can already see it kind of supports it just on the edge of the cap. This is not heavy, this is not a lot of weight, and then you can also take this bar and kind of lock it in on three positions. I think the angle's not right, and I think that there needs to be some finesse work here, but really this is all about trying to get this concept. We really like these 10 minute quick concepts. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you. So pre-match, you put it in, you set it up. Um, I'm just using the Rev Smart Servo and our Servo Programmer as just the, the quick way to do this. So I'm going to plug it in. You can imagine this on the side of your robot, it's holding it, holding it, holding it, and then when you get to the position, it goes and drops it, right? And so there's some definitely some finesse here, but the ability to have something that you can just manually with your hand pinch that goal in place, and then the servo just spins or holds it back and then can just spin around and knock it out of your grip to make sure you drop it is totally great. Um, I added a little bit of our slot cover here just for a little bit of extra grip. Like I said, if I spent more than 10 minutes on this, I think we could make it better, but part of the prototyping process is really, really going fast, right? So check out something like this for, for your, your gripper. Um, the next prototype that we did um, is actually, we took one of our, um, one of our lifts that we had built previously. Um, over the summer we built, uh, we had some interns working with us and they built some really cool new iterations of Rev linear motion systems. Um, we're going to have some documentation on the lift itself. This is using an ultraplanetary um, and, a, and a cabling system, kind of, this is actually very much like an FRC lift, uh, but it's built with all of our standard plastic linear motion parts. And so what we did quickly here today was we just added these little, little flip down arms, right? So we, this bar was already on this carriage here and we added these little arms. This is just using some hinges and a thing. And the same idea here was how would you get this out of the goal, out of the, the field towards the end of the match? And the same idea was if you could just make a wide V entry and imagine this on the back of a robot, you just drive up to a thing and then lift up, you can lift it up, right? Um, you need to, in order to get the points to get this out of the field at the end of the match, um, you need to lift this by one, at least one foot. Um, so, so these are a little taller than one foot on their own. So as you can see, um, this is uh, two stages. So this is one stage and then the carriage is the second stage. Um, and so if this was on the back of your robot, you could just drive up to the wall and then just put it right back down. And this is a pretty fast mechanism. So, and you can do this. There's no control loop here. Um, this again is just being run from our expansion hub hooked to a laptop to demonstrate the purpose. But if this was tucked in at the beginning of the match, um, so you're inside the 18, these can flip out based on gravity or you can put a servo here, but with a really basic kind of little either just a pinchy grip or just some type of thing you can run into the goal, grabbing by these caps allow for a lot more of a compact mechanism than maybe if you had to kind of go all the way up underneath. So 
that's all we've got for these little um, manipulators. And if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email. And uh, there'll be some documentation on this as the week goes on at docs.revrobotics.com. We'll see you later.